what, what the mate is talking about. What up, family? In the building right now, my man, Avion Crockett. In the building right now, y'all, my man, Avion Crockett. They in the building right now, y'all, my man, Avion Crockett. Facts, you know what facts, I'm facts. Wild and say it all building. over. And, and, I'm, and I'm wilding out a little bit, man, because I can't believe that I've been checking this dude for so long, and, and I never was, like, really able to pronounce your name. I was like, you, to, you, I, you know, I, I, I'm going to be straight up with it. It's right, like, right. It's like I, I was always like, this dude is funny as hell. Thank you, you know, like, you, you, you're like, you've been in the game for a minute, and a lot of people notice you. I mean, people recognize you or whatever, but do people recognize your name? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it depends. It depends on, uh, like, Wildin' Out did a lot for my name. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, people know Avion Crockett. Okay. Um, and then, you know, in Haunted House movie, then they'll, they'll say, you know, Ray Ray, or they'll say my name. But, okay. you know, they know. They right. know who I am. Right. You know okay. why? Because I got big money. <laughs> I drive big cars. Everybody know me. It's like yeah. I'm a movie star. So, and I... So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and speaking of movies, man, you know, like, what, what are you working on? I'm writing and producing right now, man. I got a, a, a great partner out in L.A., man. We, we cooking up TV shows. I uh, write films. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. So, so how, how did you... I don't want to say necessarily how did you get started in this, but how, what made, first and foremost, what made you want to do acting out of all things it's one of the hardest industries to crack yeah it is man i, I kind of stumbled upon acting through comedy like i was doing stand-up comedy uh -huh. from like the deaf comedy jam days is what inspired me and living color always made me want to do characters so that's why i do mm -hmm. so many like characters and impressions right. um so yeah all them shows like influenced me man right. in a big way and so when i moved to la I naturally just started auditioning for TV and film, even though I never took acting classes or none of that. But right. because I was a comedian and people knew, you know, kind of what I did, my agent would just send me out. Right. So I just started getting stuff. But but are you? I haven't seen your stand up yet. So you know. That's, nah, that's but something. but no, that's the thing. No one has seen it. Okay. Not since Def, Def Comedy Jam because I stopped doing stand up for like a minute. Right. And I just came back to it like three four years. So but I've been to Houston like twice at the Improv, sold out shows like. Houston always showed me love, so yeah. I had to come. When Trey said come down, I was like, you got damn right, I'm gonna come to Houston. Right. Yeah, because I got number love out here. Now, when's the last time you was here? Uh, it was probably a year and a half ago. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I, I purposely. I, I must have had... been out of town because I watched that improv calendar very closely. Oh, yeah. I've been here. I had, I had to be out of town. I've been here, I bro. I would have came by and checked you Live out. Live wrapped around the building, man. H-Town yeah. show love. But yeah, no one has seen, like, I make sure no one films and do all that. Right. So no one has seen it because I'm working on building towards a special. So, right. Is, yeah. is that with Comedy Central? Nah, I have no network attached to it. I'm going to own it independently and then right. license it out. Right. So going going back to the, to the comedy, like, do you have any regrets that you did the, the movie thing first because it took so many years away from your comic because nah, that's what i wanted to do and now that at I'm that doing, time now coming back to stand up the movies help bring the people out okay you know what i mean right it built my right. name wild and out yeah, okay. the movies right because before when i was doing stand up it was like the slow grind right i was making no money and i was opening up for people it wasn't it wasn't like enough to to draw my own audience now i could draw right. my own audience right so so doing so which one do you feel like that you you got the which what's which one do you believe is, that you're strong is that is it acting or is it comedy which both. one is it? both because to me it's like two different children you know i don't have a favorite and and, huh. and each one has a different tone a different approach a different feel right and yeah i do i do both differently but i love them both right you know what i mean Right, and which one of these cities, I mean, you said Houston show you a lot of love, but like, you know, I know for Ghetto Boys, our number one city is D.C. Like, I mean, Houston show us love, yeah. but D.C. is like ridiculous when it comes to Ghetto Boys. Yeah. So they're, they're really crazy about it. But which one, which, which city do that for you? Anytime I touch down in New York City, right. even on Instagram, most of my followers are in New York. Okay. New York loves me man i love new york too so right. you know shout out to all my trinities and uh in, in, in brooklyn flatbush but new york man i'm talking about 
Puerto Rican cat that's that's like taking the, the sunny water into an office building. Right. Nigga had the shit on the dial. He's like, yo, Papo, I love your thing, bro. I love right. your comedy, bro. Right. It's like, yo, you funny as <laughs> shit, bro. Right. It's like, and they and they not afraid to show show love. Like New York right. is a very honest city. Right. And they gonna hit you with that with that love. When they gonna tell you, I wasn't feeling that, bro. I right. wasn't that one thing you did, I wasn't feeling that. Right. <laughs> but but they, you know, they show the love. So right. New York is heavy. I know a lot of comedians, man. I mean, I'm real cool with a lot of guys. And I'm actually friends with a lot of a lot of comedians. And to me, you know, comedians are some of the more, I mean the good comedians are some of the most brilliant people that I know. They're really critical thinkers. And for me, I, I really, that's why I support comedy so much because I really like, it's like, it's almost like listening to myself on stage doing comedy because if you listen to my, some of the stuff that yeah, I say yeah. in my music, of course. you know, it, ha it has come and we influenced by that. We influenced by you. Know you know what I mean? We influenced by the Ghetto Boys right. and, and, you know, Scarface, Bush Way. Like, it's, it's, we get on stage and say what it is. Right. And we have comedic license to do so. Right. But this generation of comedian, we hip hop comedian. Right. Because I'm, I'm a dancer and an MC first. I'm a b-boy first before right. comedy. So everything I do is influenced by rap and hip hop. Like, right. that's just what it is. So that's why I have so many hood, and I say hood in the, in the, in the best way. Right. Meaning I people right. who have a certain mentality, who when they see you, they like, yo man, I fucks with you. Right. You know, white people ain't gonna look at you and say that. Right. <laughs> Corporate don't talk like that. Right. But our folks, Connect with what I do because I'm I'm one of y'all. I'm one of them. Like I speak the same language. It's, well, it's what it is. But when you see black people out and you see you know you see our folks out, yeah, or they see you out, mm -hmm. and you know how do they respond to your celebrity versus how white people or any other people respond to you? Because I know for myself, a lot of times when I see black people out. Well, I ain't gonna say a lot of times, but sometimes black people are, are, are a little standoffish. Uh, yeah. There's some trepidation about walking up to me and just saying, what's up, man? And because, you know, there's this idea that if you, you know, go to somebody and, and say, what's up, man, and speak to them or whatever, or just say, I like what you do, uh, you ride dick or something, you're doing, you know. Yeah. But I know a lot of times white people, they don't have no problem if they see you and they, Hey, you know what? They yeah. don't even hesitate. They just that's go, just how we. They come right towards you. Yeah, we just yeah. Our, our folks are conditioned to, to be like that. But for the most part, you can still see the love behind it. Exactly. Like they're not that. trying that's, to that's be true. too overly. That's true. But they'll like pull you aside, like yo, nah, if I get a pick, right. bro. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Exactly. Let's go. Let's do it. Right. So yeah. I think they come from some some of these assholes out here. Some of these celebrities are just straight up assholes. And then some sometimes the fans you know, can be a little overzealous that's, too. That's true. You know, that's you know true. what I mean? Sometimes fans they, they try to get attention from you. Right. And they wanna be on or whatever it is. Right. And so they'll may they may say some shit like, Yo, really did give me a motherfucking picture, man. Right. You know, thinking that that's that that's funny or whatever, but you like, yeah, you know, today <laughs> that's not the day to talk to me right. like that. Right. I'm a grown man. I I give you the photo but you ain't gotta be wild. With. How do you respond when somebody is wild with it and they're trying to get something out of you? They're trying to get put on, and they come at you. Say, "What's up, nigga?" Say, "Man, you know how you doing that comedy shit, man? You know what I'm saying, man? Put a nigga on." Yeah, I just kind of roll it off the shoulder. <laughs> I do that Mayweather on. You know what I mean? I be like, "Huh, yeah. all right, yeah. I, I feel you." But then when they get a little too aggressive, it's like, "All right, just yeah. calm down." Yeah, you know, that's 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 really all you can do, or you're gonna end up right. in a in a situation. I mean, we don't we don't ever want to be in those situations. You right, know what I mean? true that. How do you respond to people who think everything is funny in terms of dealing with you? Like every time, everything is a fucking joke. Like, yeah, well, because you do comedy, <laughs> you're supposed to always make be making people laugh. If you're around me for for a long period of time, you are gonna see how serious I really am. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And it ain't no no you know bad boy shit or nothing. It's just I'm just a thinker. Right. So I'm more quiet than I am funny. Right. You know, and I think about life. I think about you know black people. I think about love. I think about politics, science. I'm just a thinker. So if people come around and trying to do all that cartwheeling and laughing and jokey joking, right. I'll just be like, ha, ah, okay. Right. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> My man. Right. All right, and then I'm I'm out. Yeah. Like I don't if I'm not in the energy or the mood to do it, I can't fake that. What, what the haters talking about?